you want to be a UFC champion. That's the number one thing you want to do, right? So would you be willing to go up to middleweight at 185 pounds and win that belt and challenge uh, Adesanya? Okay. And the other question that I have is, would you be willing to challenge a number one contender like Robert Whitaker to get to Israel? Yeah, we was talking about the uh, with the kid in the call with my coach. I said he's his number one, number one in this division now after the easy. And uh, I, I like that fight. I want to fight with him as well. When I see last fight, I told the guys uh, the easy fight for me. You know, like how he fights, how he fight the guy, and it's like for me makes comfortable when I see this fight he gets the down and he give his back to the guy who is not wrestler not like grown guy you know like never all, all his fights he's doing on stand up what is his name Robert Whittaker take his back when I see that if I take his back and he's off his head you know like take off his head and then we're gonna go if I take him down then we're gonna go up and is he what he says he is? Is he is he the real deal? Can he course, do what yes. he's what he's saying? Yes, he can. What's your take on everything? Do you do you believe Hamza Chimaev gets rid of Israel Adesanya and and no more than no more than three rounds? Yeah, I believe it. Yeah, and then I come in and take him out. <laughs> is he going to be the first triple champ in UFC history? The Shmo's sitting next to a double champ, but do you think he's the most likely guy to it's do possible, it? Possible, yeah, yeah. I told you mentality is everything. The winner by split decision, Neil, the Haitian sensation, Mustang. Who would you like to see next time and how soon would you like to get back in the octagon? Bro, Dana White, Hamza Shmaier, I'm ready to go. I'm gonna chase this fight for over here. It still hasn't happened yet. Hamza Shmaier, I'm coming for you.